Keeping Up With Miss Electra. And today's video is, so today's video is a fun video. I'm going to show you what I picked up from uh, Michael's and then I'm going to show you how I decorate with them and to give you some ideas for Easter. Okay, so, so let me start with like these kind of stone bunnies. You know, they're concrete, I guess. I don't know. All right, so let me show you. Okay, so I picked these bunnies up. I don't think they're, I don't in, think these are the on the, in the Easter section. I think these bunnies are in the spring, but I just like them and I like that they're a little chipped. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but I just like it because it gives it like, you know, like a vintage rustic kind of look. So you could put these indoors and you could put these outdoors. Cute bunnies. And then I picked up these clay pots because I have an idea. So these clay pots kind of go with those bunnies and I just love these. You could put any plant you want in there. Like I bought this from Michaels and look, you could put it in here. Okay, very cute pots and I like them because they look very rustic and old looking. I picked up this big fat rabbit. I think it's so cute. I just love it. So this you can put indoors and outdoors too, but look how cute guys. So chubby, chubby bunny. And then I picked up this rabbit, which I love this rabbit. And I think this rabbit I can just use all year round. Since my house is like farmhouse cottagey, you can use rabbits, I think all year round. But anyway, I'll this rabbit is so cute, so vintage looking. So I fell in love with him. Then I picked up these little other bunnies, these kind of like moss bunnies. So I just kind of wanted to just go with moss and um, kind of like neutral rustic kind of bunnies. And then I picked up this galvanized tin Happy Easter sign. I think it's really, really cute. I like this one and everything's on sale, I think 40% off. So now's the time to go and get all the Easter things that you guys like. And then I picked up this sign, which I really, really love. And it says welcome and closed. I wanna put this in my entryway. Actually, actually I love how these two go. So yeah, you get my idea, right guys? So I love this sign, pretty big. And I like the way it spins. And then it says closed. You could even put this like in the kitchen or in your entry when you don't want no one else to come over. Listen, it's closed, don't come over. Okay, and then I got this sign. Let me move this flower. <laughs> All right, I have a lot of things on the floor, guys. So that's why I'm sitting on the floor. It's easier for me to show you guys. All right, so this is Egg Hunt. I think this is really cute. And then they had um, they had a bunny trail, which that's what I really wanted, the bunny trail, but they didn't have it, and I got the Egg Hunt. And then I picked up this charger. I don't know if I showed you guys this in another video, and they have this in pink, too. It's inexpensive. This I got it's like 250 now. So I think this is a great deal. And then I got these cute little tulips. They're like in the little eggs, you know, sprouting out of the egg. I think this is really cute. You could just put it around your table for Easter or around the house. You know, it's very it's very easy to decorate and very simple to decorate with these and it looks great. All right. And then I picked these cabbage these um cabbage which I just love. Okay, when did you stop? Okay, which I love these cabbage. It was hard to find these, but then I finally did. They brought them in because I know they were sold out. And then they have one, I think that, I think they have ones that are purple too. Very cute, very farmhouse rustic. And so perfect for Easter. You know, you could put it on your table next to the bunnies, cabbage and bunnies match. And then I picked these chicken wire um, I don't know what do you want to call it, cages. You could do so much with this. You could put candles in here. You could put um, cute flowers in there. You could do endless things with these. That's why I just love it. And that's why I picked them up because I could do many, many projects with this. I picked up this bird cage. I don't know if I, I don't know if I showed you guys this bird cage. Um, I think this is the big one and then they have a small one, so. This is really pretty. And then I just found these dried flowers in Michael's and just put it, you know, through the cage to look like they're growing through. Yeah, I'm really loving the dried flowers. I wanna show you what else I got of the dried flowers. So right here, I don't know if you can see it, these flowers, you usually hang them, you know, like, like this, like they're dangling down. This is very, um, this is very like shabby chic, cottage, 
um, kind of style. So I just love this and it's so pretty. So I got these and then, and then I got the wreath that goes with it because I was really loving this, you know, kind of feel. So this probably is going to go in my dining room most likely. I wanted to show you these cute chalk, um, if you could see, it's on both sides, chalkboard, and you can write anything. It, I think this is so cute, and you could put it, you know, on everyone's place setting with their name, or just say Happy Easter. So I like these. They're inexpensive. This was, I think, $1.99. So I like this, and you can have this for all year round. And then I want to show you these other little dry flowers. They had a lot of dry flowers in Michael's, which I was loving. So they're so pretty, and this you could put... So these flowers you can put on every place setting. It looks very pretty, very cottagey, French country, like the look that I'm going for. Love them, they're very cute. Yeah, and this is an expensive too. I think they came 12 for like $5, but I thought they were very pretty. And they had other flowers too. I think they had like um, sunflowers or daisies. I can't remember, but I like this. And if you'd like to do um, table settings, this is so perfect. Oh, and okay. <laughs> before I forget, I picked up this pay. Uh, I picked up this pillow from Michaels. I just love this pillow. I got it when it was on sale because it was a little expensive. So I just think these dried flowers with this pillow look so pretty together. Cottagey, French country. I just love that look. Most likely in my dining room, I think. <laughs> And then this pillow, this is not staying here. I just left it there. But this this pink and white was from Amazon. So it's pretty. It was. It's just a little kind of, um, I don't know, silky, which I didn't want. But it looks pretty with this pillow. <laughs> I wanted to show you these beautiful roses from Michaels. They look so real. I just fell in love with them. I think they're called cabbage roses. But guys, just look how pretty. If you want real looking roses, these are the one, guys. Just look how pretty, even up close. <laughs> and then I so picked I up these tulips. They had very pretty tulips in front of the store, which I really, really loved. And they looked kind of real life to me. If you look really close, they didn't look too fake. And um, it just came with something like, um, it was wrapped in plastic and I took the plastic off because I'm going to put it in something. Look how pretty. And the last two things that I picked up are these. How cute, I couldn't resist. I don't really decorate with these colors, but I actually do in my kitchen because I don't want to keep everything so white and black and white and for Easter. I like a little color and I just fell in love because little piggy with rabbit ears. And then a little duck with the rabbit ears. So I was really looking for these because I thought they were so cute. I just love them, so whimsical. So these guys are gonna probably go in my kitchen. I just love them, so cute. All right, so these are the last two that I picked up from Michaels, I think, right? I don't think I have anything else. Yeah, that's it, these two. So now I'm gonna show you how I decorated with some pieces to give you guys ideas and how simple it is to create these cute little Easter ideas. Okay, so the first idea, any buckets you have, it doesn't have to be this one. It can be any, and then just get the, any kind of tulips. I got these from Michaels. You drop it in, and look how pretty, guys. So this is one idea. You can pick any kind of flowers. You can even get your own foam and create this. And then you can find any watering can, any color, any style. I like this because it looks really old and worn out, like it's been outside for a long time. So all you do is just get any kind of watering can and pick any flowers you like. I like these flowers. I got these. So I love these flowers. They were very um, cottagey, shabby chic, French country kind of like roses. That's how they look to me. And all you do, and all you do is just flowers in a watering can. And there you got, you got instant decor for spring. Another idea that's really, really popular, popular is any kind of bird cage. I got chicken wire, and I'm gonna show you right now how I decorated this little, this little cage. Okay, right here, you just put a little bunny, and then I put little tulips, 
I think this came out really, really cute. You could do more, you could do less. You could put, um, you could put, put a little nest in here. You could do many, many things. So very simple. You can find a little cage and just put simple things in here. It can even be things from the Dollar Tree or any inexpensive place. A lot of things are, you know, on sale right now for Easter. And then this cage I showed you earlier, all you do is you can just put flowers and instant, so pretty for spring. It's an instant decor and even centerpiece for spring. Very pretty. Okay, this is heavy, but I want to show you guys what I created in this cloche. You could have a smaller cloche. It doesn't have to be this big and you don't have to have so many cute little um, animals in there. You could have only one or two, but this is such a great idea. You could find any cloche or it doesn't even have to be a cloche. You know, it could just be just a plate and you just create this cute little um, centerpiece or just decor for Easter. Look how cute guys. I think this is so adorable. I'm gonna give you a closer look of everything so you can get a better view but this one is my favorite. I just love it. And my kids just think this is so cute. All right. So that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed the cute little ideas and how to inspire you to decorate for Easter or for spring. So I thought this video was fun. I hope you guys liked it. And if you think it was a fun video, give this video a thumbs up, share my video, tell a friend. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can get subscribed to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. And I hope you always remember to keep designing life. Bye.